Alright, I am here. We are getting started. Here. Holy. Go. Hello and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. This is my show on which we write and do silly things and I get trolled by my mods and all that fun stuff. What is going on, guys? What is going on? Um, so today, we will be continuing on with our Fear the Siren issue number one. Once I get the first issue finished, then I'm going to take a break from Fear the Siren. And I'll do some other stuff. But I did want to just do this first issue and get it out of the way, as it were. So yeah. That is totally what's up. Flipping back through here, I haven't looked at this since the last episode, so. I look back at this real quick here. Two page spread. Page ten. Page eleven. Page eleven. So we got about halfway, so page 11 is about where we got to. So we're going to do the fight sequence. And then some cool magic-y things. Need to 
reason. I'm gonna make this three panels. I think it'll be better as three panels. Also, I don't like just having two panels on a page anyway.
you describe that? Where, uh... Yeah, where... It's like that effect where that blurring effect uh, around the edges where like, we're trying to indicate that the character is like passing out. Yes, tunnel vision. But there's like a way to describe that in terms of scripting, I'm pretty sure. Subscribe to that for now. Page 22 done. So let's say that these are marked as polished. These are marked as proper. Cool. So now, yeah, good. Panels done more than polished, but yeah, it's fine.
So yeah, gonna have to describe this like. Dodges. Takes. Swing. Swing out arm. Paranor jumps back. Jumps back. All right, there we go. I think that's good. So you have the like Paranor gets to his feet. He charges. He misses because the siren dodges. That makes sense. Things make sense. It's good when things make sense. Otherwise, things wouldn't make sense, and that would just be confusing.
So now we get into interesting territory. Because now... Now I'm not entirely sure if this works. panels here. I think what I want to happen is that Hyperinar will look like he blocked, but his expression is different. And then we'd have like a panel of the wound and then a panel of him holding Pressing down on it, I think. Where it like stumbles back, and we can see blood. That means that this panel goes to the next page. Unless, of course, the other option is is that we don't actually see a panel of the siren fly, like getting back into the air. That's always an option. figure it out. I still got page 13 pretty much. Pretty much under control. So we'll go with that for now.
That perfect. That's good. I think what we want here is we want like Hyperanor stumbling in the foreground and in the background we want the siren to like push off ahead up into the sky. Then next panel, uh, it's kind of like a zoomed out like we can see her circling. Hyperanor adjusts his stance, leaving an opening. Fifteen will do two panels. Uh, Cause we'll do her diving. And then the blow. sense. That all makes sense. So we're going to cut that panel. Thank
Yeah. Yeah, why not? We can do like a shot of Hyperion like searching the sky with his, with his head, and then her circling, and then he changes his stance. That all makes sense to me. Okay. Let's do that.
once I get through this first drive, I'm going to print out the, the script. And then I'm going to go over it with it, uh, go over it with a more fine tooth comb and see if I can pull out some more details, make some images clearer, descri give more description in general, because uh, there's not very much at all <laughs> at the moment. Um, which is fine. It's pretty solid for a first draft. thing about comic scripting and all that is that you want clarity over over anything right so if you have a short sentence or like a short panel description but it's very clear what's going on then it's not really a problem in the same way that it would be in prose right so yeah Hey Bode, what's up man? I haven't seen you in ages. Oh, congrats, man. I mean, I knew I knew your wife was pregnant. Uh, I just didn't know she had had it yet. I <laughs> parent or spear. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I wrote a panel called Hi Parent or Beard. So uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> Cowboy shot. That's awesome, man. I'm glad for you. At the moment, my favorite prog rock band is Spock's Beard, so, you know, it is what it is.
Oh, yeah. Didn't I want him to injure his shoulder when he hits the ground the first time? Is that a thing? I feel like that's a thing. I don't think that needs to be a thing. what I wanted to do here was I wanted to so I want the siren to short hop blowing out the other knots and kind of like one knees it wings around her so I get like this nice close uh, like a nice shot of like Hyperanor. His eyes are like glowing because of his crazy Greek myth light. Greek myth powers. And I close up on the wound and it's like healing. Four K Metsy, hey, can you give me any tips on how to maintain focus while writing? They recommend listening to rain sounds. I don't know about rain sounds. Uh, I don't. Ri <laughs> I like white noise in general. I find white noise helps me uh, keep focused. Music's good too. Certain types of music though, um, I tend to listen to. Uh, Spotify is a really cool like electronic playlists called like oh what's it called i have it open here somewhere uh it's called brain food that i really like uh it's very which what, what how i want to describe it it's like cool and subtle and very pattern based and stuff and i like that sort of thing Um, the other thing to maintaining focus is to a limit distractions. So, you know, don't have 18 billion tabs open. Don't have, uh, what else? Like don't have stuff around you that you're going to play with or use a lot or do different things with. Things like that. Um, what else? What other suggestions can I make?
know when to take breaks. Uh, it's easier to maintain focus if you are uh, not hungry, not thirsty, not tired. So uh, things like that really help. I think you have to be a regular or something for that to work. So yeah, things like that. Um, taking breaks is important. Uh, it, it helps you, like if you're taking a break, try and stand up, go to a different room, like refresh your eyes so you're not staring at something all the time uh, and the easiest way to remain focused is to be relaxed um, nothing's worse than trying to focus and all you can think about is being focused if you can relax a bit and you can just start writing it'll just come it'll flow So speaking of which, I am going to take a break. Uh, I'm going to take a 10 minute break. I will see you all after, I guess. <laughs> We're making some pretty good progress. I think we only have uh, the last page of the fight and then the two cool weird pages that I'm going to play with. So yeah, making good progress. Um, I'll see y'all in 10 minutes. <laughs>